For WHJE 91.3, I'm Patrick Simpson. Today, I'm here with Thomas Walsh of the Irish classic pop band Pugwash. Pugwash released their new album, Play This Intimately As If Among Friends, just last September. This is the first American release of new material for Pugwash. Thomas, thanks for taking some time out for this interview. It's an absolute pleasure, Patrick. It's a pleasure to be here. So, what are some themes and inspirations for the album as a whole? I think I always um, I always write songs about uh, real life, about what's going on in my life, and sometimes I can use metaphors for different things. Uh, there's a track on the album about a train, but it kind of has a lot of connotations of of, of uh, real life stuff as well. So I like to write uh, kind of forced hand from from reality and, and stuff. So I don't really. You know, there's not a lot of lovey-dovey songs. I mean, there's a lot of real-life love and stuff like that. So I think personal experiences is where I come from. Uh, most of the songs and Play This Intimately have the same kind of sound, like upbeat, poppy sound that, you know, we've come to know Pugwash for. But there are a few outliers that I really liked. Like, uh, there's this Bossa Nova track, like Clouds. And I really wanted to know about, like, what inspired you to write a song like that? Well... <clears throat> sometimes you kind of I, I can tend to write in a certain way in a certain beat you know if you just if you know nice to be nice it's kind of a stompy beat and ants on a postcard it's kind of a stompy beat I do kind of tend to to write in that kind of vein when it comes to kind of real poppy singles but um, on this record I just thought you know there's, there's other there's other avenues and there's other things to to explore and I'm a big fan of it uh, like Serge Gainsbourg and the High Lamas and all these kind of wonderful bands, Stereo Lab, who do a lot of bossa nova stuff mm-hmm. and a lot of uh, different kind of tropical beats and tribal beats and stuff. So, so I just kind of sat down and, and wrote this little song about clouds. And when I brought it to Neil Hannon uh, to kind of help with, he he put his Farfisa, a huge Farfisa organ on and put bossa nova on it, and we got a great little bossa nova beat that went through the whole song so it worked out really well but it's just because sometimes you just kind of look beyond the pale and you try and find other other ways of of uh influencing you to write a song you know i also really like we are everywhere it's like that psychedelic kind of thing what about that one did you uh, have any influences with that well i've got to say i mean i i, I wasn't happy with we are everywhere uh, Funnily enough, because everyone else was, but I just thought I had a little bit of. I don't know. I just, I just, it just didn't feel right for me. I don't know whether it, I, I nailed the recording of it uh, well enough. To be honest with you, I think what the problem was, I, I wrote the song originally with a very weird open tuning on the guitar, but when I came around to recording it in Conk in London, uh, I actually forgot how I'd written it, which <laughs> can happen. And uh, <laughs> it's happened to many people, I'm sure. But uh, so I ended up just picking out the basic chords, and so it didn't feel right. But in the end, I got a I got a message from Jeff Lynn, and he said it's his favorite track on the album. So, so you know, it, it's mad. You just don't know sometimes, you know. So the, the lads all loved it in the band, and if Jeff Lynn says it's good, well then I'm happy with that, you know. Well, what are some of your favorites on the album then? Yeah, I like just so you know. Um, I really like that little. Uh, it's just a very simple little love song but if I ever did get close to McCartney in, in a classic kind of way I mean I don't sit down and try and do that but the way the recording came out uh, I was very proud of that it's kind of got it's, it's it's beautifully recorded so I'm very happy with that I also like um, Lucky in Every Way for it's it's simple popness yeah. it's popness but um, I, I also really I also loved it All The Way From Love song but I again I don't know whether we really nailed it but it's good to have these little things because the the little things you're not quite sure about make you want to go on to the next record and and, and do them better so there's always some things you, you leave in a previous record that aren't quite right in your head and it makes you want to do another record it's kind of like you know leaving an imperfection on something you know right. so you want to fix it next time so it's it's but i love the record i'm very proud of it i want to come back to jeff lynn and uh there are also a lot of other people that are on this album. Like, I think Ray Davies of The Kinks was on it and Andy Partridge. Yeah. 
Uh, have you gotten any other like kind of specific feedback from them about any songs that they like? I know you talked about Jeff Lynne, but uh, what about those other guys? Well, Andy is a big fan. He's he's always uh, been a big fan, and you know he hasn't heard the album yet. I mean, he had a recent uh, bereavement in his family, so I'll I'll have to wait a while before I send Andy the stuff. But um, Neil Hannon loves everything I do as well. You know, he's a big he's a big supporter and a big fan. Um, so all the tracks he played on, he loves, um, as well as the other ones as well. He's a, he's just a big fan. And Jeff, of course, again, you know, big supporter. And and I got a feedback from Jeff about the album because he heard some, some songs in his studio because um, I played him some of the album when I was in his studio. And he played me some of the new ELO records. So uh, Ray Davis was just a very one-off thing. He just loved what he heard in the studio when he was walking by every day. Because where uh, we recorded the album, it's kind of Ray's office. And uh, he just, through a mutual friend, uh, we just ended up basically getting this little part on the song where he goes, ba 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 yeah. And he sang it beautifully, but then he also ad-libbed a few lines, which of course went into the song because it's Ray Davies and he's allowed to do anything he wants. Yeah. So I'm very proud of, of, of Ray, Ray Davis. Is a real, you know, incredible to have him on the record. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. For those of you who have just tuned in, I'm here with Thomas Wash of the Irish pop band Pugwash, who have recently released their new album, Play This Intimately As If Among Friends. This has been like your first American release with uh, Play This Intimately, and it, it's really your first introduction to America. What has your exper- experience been like just uh, touring around America and and uh, like getting feedback from Americans and and just getting a feel for the place? Well, uh, there's a reason why we're not at home uh, promoting our record in our hometown because that's what always happens. That's what's happened to every record I've ever released. Uh, I've been at home to promote it because that's where you live, that's where you're based. But this time around it was... It was just a no-brainer. We didn't want to be there. We didn't want to be at home. We didn't want it to be the usual same old, you know, same old. And, you know, the same gigs, the same people and blah, blah. So America was calling. The deal was with an American label. And, of course, it was coming out in America first and foremost. I mean, it did come out all over the world on the same day. Uh, The the distribution was, was tremendous with the album. But... We wanted to be here, we wanted to be in America, we wanted to launch it in America, we wanted to have some kind of, you know, uh, happening in America because it's the land of rock and roll and we always wanted to be here and of course it is our biggest fan base so we have to come to where to where the fans want us the most and, you know, after all these years of, of trying to bang my head against the wall when it comes to Ireland or England and all these places, I mean, America has always been calling so... We set the tour up and it's been amazing, you know. It's been a dream come true yeah. to drive across America. And uh, we do it again in a harpy. Great, great. Are there uh, any songs that you really like to perform live? Any favorites of yours? Uh, I think uh, um, The Fool I Had Become, which is on the new album, yeah. That that's fun to play live because there's a big ending on it and uh, it's different every night as well, so you know, Tosh decides to do some. Tosh might decide to play in tune one night and then play out of tune the next night, but uh, it's still all really good and all quite exciting. So I like the way it's a, it's a nice little. Uh, it kind of just rotates, the melody just goes round and round. It's very nice to play and sing. So I think The Fool I Had Become would be a favourite at the moment. Are there any other bands that you're listening to right now that you want to give a shout out to or anything like that 21 pilots <laughs> no I, I, I don't know who these i don't know who 21 pilots are but uh i uh, i don't know i mean <clears throat> we go through phases we listen to a lot of new stuff and you know i like tame impala you know they're not quite new but they're new enough and uh there's a couple of other bands that are up and coming uh, that i'm just hearing about there's, there's a band in england as well called um oh no the anderson council out in new york they're they're they've been supporting us for a few gigs and they're really really good but uh yeah there's, there's a couple of bands here and there uh but i've got to say it's mainly you know classic old pop really and i right. 
I mean, at the moment, I'm at the finding a, an artist called Ellie, which is a, which was one guy uh, who released one single on Parlophone <laughs> in 1967. And it's a tremendous song. And then I found out that they released some demos by him, so I picked them up, and they're all really good. So oh, I'm listening to a weird, obscure Arabic pop singer oh. from 1967, so that's, that's about as new as I'm getting at the moment. You know, but uh, it, there is good music out there, though, you know, so... Right. Just go look, as they say. This is going to go on air, and I know you guys are a great band, but I don't think a lot of people who are going to listen to this on the air in Carmel aren't really going to know you. That's like, true. Where, uh, where should those people start? Like, what would you uh, say to those people? Like, to start with your music, get more info about you, and um, really get into you? TMZ.com. Lots of... Lots of uh, <laughs> Lots of rare footage. <laughs> no, um, we basically we've lots of stuff online. We've got a lot of Facebook pages, Pugwash Official, and it's nice to be nice. Our couple of groups. We also have a separate Pugwash page. We have a Pugwash Twitter page, which is Pugwash Official as well. We also have a website, which is Pugwash Official. A lot of official stuff. Yeah. And um, you can find me, Thomas Walsh, and Tosh Flood, and Joseph Fitzgerald, and Sean McGee. We're all up on Facebook, and we're all easy to kind of access. As soon as we become any kind of famous, uh, we won't want to know anybody. So get us <laughs> while we want to talk to you. <laughs> yeah. And then as soon as we don't want to talk to you, we block you all <laughs> and we'll be all making millions of pounds. So, uh, no, but there's lots of online stuff. So you can just check out any kind of uh, Pugwash Google search. Uh, when it comes to music, you should catch us, you know. All right. Is there anything else you'd like to add? No, just keep getting better at your talent. You're very good and you're too good. <laughs> you're putting me to shame. Oh. So, uh, no, I'm just uh, hello, Carmel, and uh, keep it real and keep playing music and keep playing instruments and keep listening to music, uh, which, however good or bad it may be. So, thanks. No problem, Patrick. Thomas Wash is the frontman and main songwriter for the Irish pop band Pugwash. Their new album, Play This Intimately as If Among Friends, has been their first American release of new material. Give them a try, but for now, keep that dial tuned to WHJE 91.3, where we've got more great music coming your way.